Hi, Paul here. I want to show you how to change your, your workspace accordingly to what you are doing. Maybe you are doing photography, you are going to edit pictures, or maybe you are doing graphic design, or you just want essential default workspace. Now, let's begin. Now, for you to access uh, the workspace, you just come to Windows, then you come to Workspace here. There are different workspace you can create here. Like the first one here is the one that I created that I can use to create YouTube Shorts videos. The one that always comes as default is essential default, is 3D graphics web, motion painting, photography. Reset essential, especially if you have messed up your workspace, you can always go back. A new workspace, delete workspace, you can also delete a workspace and many other shortcuts here. This start with the essential default, is the one that is already tricked, which is the one that is working here. They are the ones, it's the ones that you see all the aspects here and here. Now, let's say if I try to choose another, uh, let's say 3D, it will come into 3D uh, workspace. You see, here has changed into something 3D. And maybe I don't want 3D workspace, I'll just come again here. And maybe I want graphics and web. I want to do a lot of graphics and web. You can see here, it has changed here. The graphics, you can see the level has come, layer comes, you can see there, paragraphs, clips, you can see all this here has come it's giving me also some uh, the color has come here what about if i come again workspace and i choose motion if i want to make something for motion you can see uh, all the templates has come now let's come again here maybe i want to choose something for painting maybe i want to do a lot of painting uh maybe something to do with brushes and many other aspects you can see here i have a brushes layer has come here so i can easily uh, can easily choose the brush that I want uh, and I can easily uh, put it there so you can see the brushes is the, is the default uh, brushes here is the default has come on top here color switches any other aspect here like you see uh, let me just undo that also brush uh, swatches and all many uh, let's I want, I want to come again here and uh, maybe uh, I, want to, I, want, I want to get a picture with for photography I click that it give me a photography aspects like you see adjustments i can easily adjust uh the picture maybe the brightness if i click this one here maybe i can easily adjust the brightness and also reduce the brightness of a picture as you can see there so this is good especially if you're doing photography any other aspects I also come here and maybe now if i've messed up all my workspace and i don't know what to do every some things are lost i deleted this by mistake and i don't want to delete it and it's supposed to be there maybe i've really messed up my workspace here um maybe i closed all this one here uh maybe i closed uh, or i closed all tab groups everything is gone what will i do i learn to come here under windows i just come to workspace and come to reset uh, photography. I remember I was in photography. They come back again. What about uh, if I want to go to uh, uh, the essential default to take me to the basics that they see all the things are back. Uh, all the things are back there. Even the layers is here. So if you mess up your workspace, you can easily come here and set it. You can also create a new workspace. Maybe uh, I want to adjust everything here. Maybe I don't want to. I want to remove this. Maybe I'll just uh, right click and close that. Maybe I don't want this, close that. And maybe uh, I'll also leave, maybe I'll come to Windows here. Maybe add something like uh, uh, parts. Maybe I'll add here, maybe I put it somewhere. Maybe I drag it, I drag it and put it here, position it here. Uh, maybe I'll come to Windows, add something like uh, maybe shapes. Yeah, you see it will be here. Now, if I want to save this workshop so that I'll always be using it, I just come here, workspace and a new workspace. Maybe I'll give it a name. Maybe I'll just say design designer. Then I just save it. I can also click this to save everything, toolbar menus and everything. So I'll just save it. Now when I come here under workspace, you see it is here, it is the one that I'm using. Now if I want to get out of that, I'll just come to essential defaults, it will detect me to the initial uh, workspace that I used to uh, work with. Just come here and maybe I can just come and reset essential defaults, it will take me to, to the normal uh, defaults that I always set. Then I'll come back to workspace again, maybe I want to design again, I'll go back to designer. I'll just click, you see, it has changed into 
but you can also delete a workspace maybe you don't like this one i don't like it maybe I just come delete workspace no i want to delete this one here maybe i just come uh first of all you make sure you're in another workspace before you delete just come maybe i want to come to essential defaults then i want to delete uh a workspace i'll just come here uh then uh, uh delete workspace yes i want to delete designer then i just come and delete then to be sure i just say i want to delete it and if i come back here again it will be gone i will remain the other uh workspace guys that's how to uh work with workspace uh subscribe to my channel you can also share it with your friends